I think the birth of it came from falling upstairs, my band um, being approached by members from the City of Lost Children, uh, these three women. They came to me saying, hey, like we've seen your music, we saw the music box you did last year, and we really want to collaborate with you. I brought it to my bandmates saying, hey, these girls really want to do a production with us, they want to write music to us playing, and so that's how it got going, and then we got Saul involved by helping us write the music. Bellingham is such a musically oriented city that um, we wanted to bring that excitement and energy into the theater space. The last two years, I've taken just one band and taken a bunch of their songs and then built a show around those songs. And then this time around, we actually created these songs from nothing. It was daunting. We yeah. were given like an outline with pretty much the points of the show that needed a song to go with it. We took the myth of the sirens from the Odyssey and just based off of that, I wrote some points that we wanted to hit in telling the story and then just let the band go to work. All the outline points were storm song and man song and siren song, siren song, siren song. Siren song. <laughs> make a seduction song, make this yeah. sound seductive, destruction song. The City of Boston girls would bring, you know, lyrics to us and we'd bring melodies to them and it just kind of formed symbiotically like between each other. Probably the easiest song that came together is the one that just centered around God damn. Ooh, God damn. <laughs> Every time I work with either of these groups, um, I'm, I just come away absolutely inspired. So this is a really inspirational musical show, and it's, it's just a badass production. If you were to go see a show at a bar, you might just be watching, you know, one song, you know, juxtaposed against another song, as opposed to our kind of like seamless flow that we've tried to create. I don't think there's anything like it right now in Bellingham. Not at all. It's certainly something that I would like to go see. I think it's something that I've been waiting for. I just have the pleasure to create it. It's something that is really special and it's unique to Idiom. It's, it's something that comes once a year and it's happening right now. So now's the time to get it.